Welcome to another episode of Ben and John Do Cars. Today we are looking at this 2005 Mitsubishi Colt 1.5 Turbo with a few little tasty bits. Ooh. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All beneath the water never felt quite this bright ecstasy. Nirvana, is this the afterlife? No sounds, no sounds around us No sounds, no sounds divide us In the cult van. With another episode of Ben and John Do Cars, here we are in a Mitsubishi Colt 2005 Colt CZT 1.5 Turbo. This is not your everyday Colt 1.5 Turbo, is it, Ben? It's not. No, this has been breathed on. Let's say. <sighs> Uprated hybrid turbo, same housing, however it's got a front mount intercooler, yeah. uprated, it's got a rated suspension, this thing's on coilovers. Scooby WRX injectors. It's had a remap, it's got a straight through exhaust and yeah, it's a nice little little thing to drive, nice little toy let's say. Um, it's got a recirc valve on it I think, forged recirc valve uh, to prevent that turbo from stalling. There we go. Right, you do really notice that suspension is nice and firm, isn't it? It's is nice and firm, isn't it? Nice and firm. So, first impressions, Ben. First impressions are. So, Johnny drove it around whilst we were setting up the shots and stuff earlier. This is the first time that I've been in the driver's seat. It's got a lot of character, it's got a lot of punch. It, yeah. it, 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 it goads you into getting the boost on. It's good fun, I like it, it's cool. Oh, yeah, baby! Very nice. I really like, the one thing I like about this car is when you're just cycling through the gears, when you're just like letting it rev down in third, you get loads of pops and bangs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's a nice consistent power throughout the rev range there. So it boosts at around 20 PSI by the looks of things. It's got a linear boost control of this car, so it's, it's designed, well it's mapped in a way that your boost is progressive. You get it, the higher you go, the more boost you get. It's not like a massive shunt of boost and hits you in the arse. Boost, 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 boost. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Oh, puppy. I love that. There is something about a slightly overpowered, turbocharged hot hatch and getting those pops and bangs. So the Colt CZT was introduced in 2004 and one of the things that struck me when we first saw this earlier is that actually, you don't see many of these around, but to be fair, considering this design now is like 14 years old, it still looks pretty modern, it still looks pretty fresh. Yeah. I mean, don't get me right, it wasn't the best looking car when it was new because at the end of the day, it is still a super mini. This might be the hot version, but the Colt is you know, a city car. But to be fair, it still looks pretty modern, I think, uh, which is nice. Even though it's on coilovers, I mean, it's a nice stiff ride, but it's not like yeah. bumping your arse out. That is a good point, actually. We're not we're not crashing around much. It's, it's I think I think they're quite good coilovers. They're quite sort of responsive. Yeah, so they're not wallowing around and bottoming out on the bump stops. They're kind of firm, responsive, stiff, holding you in. Feels yet, good. Yeah, quite forgiving. Football there. Yeah, yet quite forgiving. So. Top marks on the suspension. What are the brakes like? Oh, fucking hell! Brakes pretty good. Interesting fact for you, this is, underneath, this is basically exactly the same as a Smart 4.4. And this had the same engine, this has got the same engine that the Smart 4.4 Brabus edition had. Although admittedly in the Brabus, it was slightly more powerful. It was 180 brake rather than 150, which is what this is standard. This has been tuned up and it's now running about 215 brake. Yeah, and that was a deliberate mapping thing. With this turbo, these injectors, this map, and blah, 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 all the other supporting mods, 
this could quite comfortably achieve 250, maybe even nudging 260 brake on the dyno. Absolutely. Um, but the issue is, it's only a little 1.5, and it's, the clutch isn't that, isn't really man enough for the job. So the previous owner, Steve Groves, got this uh, mapped specifically to limit the uh, the abuse that the clutch would take. So if you were to put a nice clutch on here, you'd be laughing all the way to the dyno. He would and be. probably laughing on the way home as well. Yes. So let's talk about the interior things. You know, this is the first time I've been in a Colt. Same here. So this one's a bit of a naughty, rorty, torty little hot hatch. They haven't put a lot of thought into the way they've designed the interior, let's say that. Let, let's not forget that the, the Colt is a is a fairly budget super mini, or was at the time at least. So like, you know, you can't expect leather, you can't expect carbon fiber or real aluminum or whatever. So the, the interior does feel quite cheap, but then it was quite a cheap car when it was new. So you can't really expect much. But having said that, in terms of the sort of aesthetics, I think it looks pretty good in here. It's fairly simple, all the controls are fairly ergonomic. And it is comfortable. So, it's got a bit dark. Driving it around for a little while now, so we're getting used to the controls, how the car behaves and things like that. It's a it's a pretty fun little toy, isn't it? Like, yeah. It's not shit your pants fast, but it's good fun. It's, it's you know, you, have to, you do have to think about where you put your foot down. Um, and yeah, it's just, like the owner said, it's just a bit, it's just a bit naughty. We're in the darkness. Baby! That really is naughty! <laughs> it's good fun to drive. I would imagine with an extra, you know, 30, 40 horsepower, this would be a real riot. It's got enough turbo, it's got enough lag. The engine is actually, although it's only 1.5, it's really characterful, it sounds good. And yeah, I think it's just a it's just a fun little car. It's worth mentioning at this point that this car is currently for sale. <laughs> so, yes. Thank you very much for Jamie, the owner, for letting us take it out. Thanks, Jamie. I think he wants 3,500, three and a half grand, something like that for it. You're Pretty not going to go far wrong if you want to splash some cash on a nice little turbo charge, hot hatch, little city car style sleeper, then this is the one for you, isn't it, Ben? It is the one for you. So, Johnny's in the driver's seat now. Yeah. First impression, it's spacious in here. It's quite big, it's even big. though it's a tiny little car, the way the dashboard's laid out and things like that creates that kind of sense that you're in quite a big space. Which I quite like because it's a little car, you expect you're going to be crammed into it, but actually when you climb in, it's like the TARDIS, man. It is. It's, it, I did not think about that, but Johnny's absolutely right. It is quite spacious in here. The back, not so much by the looks of it, but the front at least is, is oh, yeah, it's very airy. Those pops and bangs though. One thing Jamie mentioned to us before we got in the driving seat of this thing was it was like the pops and bangs, the noises from the exhaust, they sound delicious. and. He is not wrong. No. They sound fantastic. Yeah, they do. The turbo spools up actually quite quick. There's not much lag at all. It's a little bit, but not a lot. Once it's spooled, it just goes and goes and goes. There's enough lag to let you know that you've got a turbo, and that's what I like. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the suspension is a bit stiff, but it's nice. I like that. It makes you feel kind of in control. Gives you a bit of support, and you know, kind of where the road is, what the road's doing, what the car's doing on the road. It's nice. Woo! For what this car is, it's a little car, little-ish engine, but it's turbocharged. And the fact that it is turbocharged makes it a hell of a lot more exciting because you've got power, you've got you've got boost. You've got torque. Who doesn't love boost? Everybody loves boost. Everybody loves boost. So the owner of this car has had it since last year. So when he bought it, it had all the modifications already done to it. So um, shout out to Steve Gross, the guy that basically built this car. Um, made it from a standard Mitsubishi Colt into what it is today with the turbo, with the tune, all, Did the, a good job. all the other accessories. Yeah, you've done a good job, mate. Well done. Also, as well as Steve Groves have put it all together, Court and Miller did the, uh, <laughs> did the mapping and a few of the custom components with the manifold and the, uh, the turbo elbow and stuff like that. So, uh, again, they've done a pretty good job by the feel of it. Really good job. You know it's turbocharged, you know it's got a small capacity engine in it. When I say small capacity, I mean sub two litre. And that's something nice about that. You know it's not a heavy car, so you can chuck it around to. I think this car standard is either 1100 kilos or 950. I'm not quite sure what the actual spec is. I think standard this car is about, it's about a tonne. So yeah, we're saying about a tonne. So you're looking 215 brake per tonne. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all, is it? It's pretty good. I like the Colt, Johnny. I like it too, Ben. I think it's all right. I think it's all right. I think Jamie's got a nice little car here, and he's obviously going to be sad to let it go. His other commitments, family commitments and things, he's looking for a bigger car. 
this is this pride and joy at the end of the day and yeah that's fair enough like i can see why you would love this car like it's fun to drive it's built it's been built well it looks quite nice from the outside it's aesthetically pleasing let's say with the modifications it's had done i love the wheels it's worth mentioning i love the wheels the wheels are delicious the color of the car as well it's, it's like a nice subtle gray it's nice it's nice thanks for watching uh, of course um please like share the usual stuff um, this has been a good shoot, so thank you, Jamie. We've really enjoyed our time here. Appreciate that. Um, so please look at our other videos. We've done some really cool cars lately, uh, one of them being a really f mental skyline. We're doing some more cool cars this weekend. Woo! Won't tell you what they are. You have to keep tuned to check that out. So thank you for watching. Big shout out to Jamie for lending us the car for a couple of hours. Much appreciated. Much Mucho appreciado. Absolutely. It's been great fun. We've enjoyed it. We both really enjoyed driving this car. It's a good little car to drive. Nice little toy. The way it's been set up is awesome. Love it. If you enjoyed the video, you, then look at the rest of our channel. Check below. There should be a subscribe button somewhere around here. Hit it. Peace. Watch another one of our videos there. And one there. And then subscribe sort of here-ish. Here yes. Cheers. Bye.